Hello again, and here is another project we have done in one of the card making classes, and I'm sure you have seen these before. Um, if you wonder why this looks so weird, well, this is actually how it opens. So this is your card. It has a little pinwheel um, type, and it's really cute. And you can spin it around any way you want. Um, it folds flat, as you can see, so it's a regular um, quarter card, four and a quarter by five and a half, and it's really super easy to make. So let's get started. I laid this here, and I already prepared some of these um, pieces. So what you need is, you need four pieces of cardstock in this case with design paper on there. You also need a uh, design paper and you want to use design paper because the cardstock sometimes is too hard to fold um, and then the mechanism doesn't work. So this one is um, four and a quarter scored at an inch and then adhere together so you have this little square. And then um, we use, now hopefully my adhesive doesn't give up on me. So I put adhesive on here and you're gonna start putting your panels on. And you wanna make sure it's flush with this side and I oozed out a little bit. Let's remove this here. Okay, then we go to the next one. So adhesive on this one, and in this case, I put the adhesive on here because it's hard to guess, and you want to make sure that it sits nice and tight on here. So this one just butts up to the other one. And when you have your first one correct, the others should follow in place. You can always test it to make sure you're not too far over. Close it with a liquid adhesive. It would push anything that sticks out too far back. So make sure you try this within every time you adhere the new one. Okay, come on. And then we have this one here. Same thing wash top and bottom then we make sure when I close it that way you can also push them down make sure they adhere nicely and then we have one last Then just fold them over and over again so to make sure it works. Perfect. And that pretty much is your base already there. Now this one I did a little bit different. So let's see which way do we want it. Do we want this on the inside? Use the tape on it in this case. So this just goes in the center and then I 
have all these stars that you can just put on top here. Next one. So I used red stickles, just put a few drops in here. And let them dry because they take a while to dry, so. Oops. Then we'll do the next one. They're all just centered in each of these panels. There we go. This one, oh, down here. Right, and there you have your base. So this one was the one that we already was finished, and this is the one that we're doing right now. So I have a. a few phrases that I put on here. So this one was my front face phrase and it just goes on the center here. And then this one goes on the bottom. Oops. There we go. And then I used a pencil to just give it a little extra framing. It looks a little bit bare. And it is purposely, I'm purposely trying not to be super straight with my lines. And the pencil is great because if you're not sure if you want to do this, you can always erase it plus um, you can always go back after with a black pen if you like to do that. So this one here, again, I'm just going each side twice. I sometimes really have to try to make it a little bit offset, otherwise it's a straight line. There we have it. Okay. There is our making sure. Here we have this one. Just making sure it's about the same where the other one is up front. Then in here and then the last one is for you to write on and you can do two if you need more writing space but I think just a small grading is usually what everybody puts on there and we put this one in case I put these at the end on oops I just 
side. Get a little bit of adhesive on there, but that's okay. Once that's dry, I just use the adhesive eraser to get it off. And here we are. Push this down a little bit, just for a second or so. And let's remove the adhesive. This is a awesome tool to have. It's called an adhesive eraser. Mine is well used. You see how the adhesive kind of like gets rolled up into these little balls and you can use this for any type for the tape runner. In this case for the liquid adhesive all you have to do is make sure the liquid adhesive is completely dry before you use it otherwise it smears. All right and there you have it. Here's your little 3D Christmas card. And again, you can fold this with the Have a Merry Christmas up front, have your phrase up front, any way you want it. That's how you fold it. It folds anyway. And the recipient can just put it up so it stands up on the desk. All right. Well, that was it for this little tutorial. If you're interested or like to get more information about these, projects uh, comment below or contact me and i'm happy to give you some more information thanks and have a great day bye bye